All right, Survival 101. And y'all remember that I have talked about water hemlock and that there are many plants that are edible that resemble water hemlock. So today, um, I'm gonna show you an exact comparison of Queen Anne's Lace, which is here on the right, to water hemlock on the left. Okay? So the first thing that you should notice is the height. You can see I've got the tape up there. This, this plant is about six foot tall, this water hemlock. Comparatively, the Queen Anne's Lace is only about two foot tall. Okay, so there's a difference there. Um, the next thing is the leaves. You can see what these leaves look like and that there is red in the stems. Okay, Queen Anne's Lace has this type of leaf and there is no red coloration in the stems anywhere. Okay. The next thing to notice is the flowers. While they may look similar, you see that the water hemlock has multiple umbels like so. The QAL, Queen Anne's Lace, is a single, a single umbel like this that branches out. So again, Hemlock, Queen Anne's Lace. The next thing is the root of the plant. This is the edible part of Queen Anne's Lace. And when you break this open, this actually will smell like a carrot because that's what this is. Queen Anne's Lace is actually in the carrot family. Well, so is water hemlock, but the Queen Anne's Lace is an edible wild carrot while the water hemlock has roots like this. And when you break them up, they don't smell like a carrot. They have a, like a musty odor. And you can see the stem of the hemlock is much larger than the QAL. So that's how you tell the difference. Also know that um, elderberry does also resemble water hemlock, but elderberry is edible where water hemlock, if you eat a piece about that big, within six hours, convulsions and death will result. It is the most toxic plant in North America. And so when you're foraging for wild food, wild plants you really need to know how to identify it because if you don't you can be dead so there's survival 101 water hemlock versus queen anne's lace i hope that clears it up for you